What's up? It's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness. Once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt. And I just got back yesterday from my three month surgical follow up from my uh, bicep surgery, and it's healing up nicely. Scars cleaning up. I'm starting to uh, develop some lean tissue again, get my strength back, got my full range of motion back, and I just got cleared to start training again. I've re-implemented or reintroduced my minimalist training program that I was following before, which is basically three exercises, one big compound lower body movement like a squat or deadlift, and a big pushing and a big pulling movement for upper extremity. So three big bang exercises that hit most of the muscles in the body, and I run through those as a strength circuit. <clears throat> but because I'm starting back with lighter weights, I'm introducing this program with a higher rep range. So what I'm going to be doing over the next month is starting off this week at 30 repetitions per exercise and then moving down to 25 repetitions the following week and adding a bit of weight. 20 reps, 15 reps, and then tilling down back into the six to 10 rep range, adding weight each week. So hopefully in four to six weeks, I'm working with pretty close to the same weights I was uh, before my injury. Today, what I'm gonna be going through is a two day split that I'm basically working with. So the day one exercises will be some squat lunge or split squat variation for lower body. And today I'll be using a safety squat and again, aiming to perform 25 to 30 repetitions. So the weights will obviously be a little lighter, but I wanna make sure that I'm getting a good pump without putting excessive stress in the joints. Then I'll be moving on to a row variation. Today I'm using a T-bar row, but uh, you could also use a single arm dumbbell row, cable row, any kind of row variation. And again, I'm trying to hit the high rep range, aiming for that 30 reps. After the row, I'm gonna be doing my horizontal push variation. So this time I'm gonna be using a flat dumbbell press, but it could also use a, uh, a barbell press or push up variation, or you could even use parallel bar dips, although that's a little stressful in my shoulder for the time being. So dumbbells give me a little bit more room to control the resistance and gradually progress. So I'll be working through four rounds of this circuit, 30 repetitions per exercise. And then I'll give myself at least a full day of rest before moving on to day two of the program, which will start off with a hip hamstring dominant lower body movement, and then a vertical pushing and pulling movement for upper body. Today I'm gonna to be using hex bar deadlifts, stiff deadlifts, so more of a hamstring dominant deadlift. And again, aiming for 30 repetitions with a moderately light weight. Other exercise options could be glute hamstring raises, leg curls, or even hip thrusters. Moving on after the deadlifts, I'm gonna be doing lat pull downs. Alternatively, you could do a chin up or pull up variation. I'm just not ready for that yet. And this gives me, more, again, more room to control my progressions and control the weight used. So aiming for 30 repetitions on the lat pull down. And then moving on to a vertical press variation, and then here I'm doing uh, seated dumbbell presses. You could also use a barbell overhead press uh, or an incline press. So I'll be alternating between the day one and the day two variations on non-consecutive days and continuing to drop my repetitions as, as I increase the weight. I may also be introducing some isolation work on my off days, such as uh, bicep and tricep isolation exercises and isolation work for the deltoids such as lateral raises and rear flies. I'll be posting another video soon showing you what I'm doing for that. I'm going to be including some occlusion training uh, for the arm so that I can start to improve recovery with very light loads. So here's a quick outline of the program that I'm using right now. Again, it's basically referring to the minimalist training template that I've used before. And you can check out some of my other minimalist videos right here on the screen as well. If you've got any questions or comments, post them down below and I will get back to you. And until next time, Stay strong.